Hey guys! So I put up an Instagram post this morning that said ask me anything. So I was just kind of, you know, it's Sunday, like kind of want to wind down and just kind of talk about anything really. I mean, most of the stuff was food related, which I, you know, knew was going to happen, which is fine. Um, but a couple things weren't. I thought they were really cool questions. So um, the post looked like this. So if you saw it and commented on it, there will be a chance that your question will be answered. Let's get started. Okay, so it says, you've got one last day in Whittier. You're moving out of the state or country, let's say. Where would you go for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and your last drink? For breakfast, I would probably go to Mimo's for a breakfast burrito with bacon in it. It's my favorite. They give this salsa and I love it. I would get a Mimo's breakfast burrito any day of the week like if you said every morning for the next month like can you eat that for breakfast absolutely i can definitely eat a mimo's breakfast burrito every day for an entire month straight for lunch i would probably go to off the hook i love their grilled shrimp tacos i go there a lot and i know you guys are probably like here again but i love it there and they have really good micheladas for dinner i would probably go to i probably go to the bottle room I love their mini burgers, like an overly obsessed amount. I love, I just love them so much. Um, with their shoestring french fries and the aioli sauce, um, yes, absolutely. Like that's that would be my like my last meal. Like, my last drink, I would probably go to Four Bricks because they have the best bar in Whittier. I stand by that. They have a great selection. They have some very creative drinks and. Um, I just appreciate that, so I think that's exactly where I would go. <laughs> a couple people mentioned the dress I was wearing. Well, I created a new Instagram account called Shopping in Whittier, so you can go over there and follow it, and then also, when you get there, click that photo, and it'll tell you where I got the dress and the brand and everything like that. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a fun Instagram, especially for you girls who wanna kinda um, find the cute finds in the city basically especially in uptown Whittier we have so many cute little boutiques and stuff that often go unnoticed so um, go check out that Instagram I'll put the link below as well do you think you'll branch out to surrounding cities or do you think there is more than enough in Whittier to continue to talk about also how often do you eat out versus eating in um, okay so the first part of that question do you think do I think I'll branch out to the surrounding cities um, probably not I've I tell everybody this, but um, I've lived here my whole life, so my heart is pretty much here in Whittier. I mean, the surrounding cities, okay, maybe like, you know, I promote a couple, you know, of our sister cities, like on my page, it's not that big of a deal because they're very close, and um, I think small businesses are small businesses, but to create like a, you know, to do basically this entire thing, what I did for Hungary and Whittier for another city, probably not. And I think there's honestly enough here in Whittier to talk about. There's so many places that I haven't mentioned um, that you will be hearing about very soon just because, you know, I'm trying to make it a point to get to all of them. Yeah, I think it's been a really cool experience. It's led into a lot of other really cool things that I've been doing. My husband and I, we have a little um, side passion project called Dogs Tavern where we do our t-shirts that say dogs and beer. I'm pr pretty sure you've seen them. Um, and then also like we do dog beer and organic dog treat, non-alcoholic dog beer. Also, you know, I do shopping in Whittier, how I just mentioned in the last uh, comment. Um, it's just it's just led me to a lot of really great things. And like I said, my heart is here, so I probably won't venture out. Okay, next question. When being hungry in Whittier and with all of the delicious food you eat, have you ever gotten sick? Hmm. Um. No, <laughs> I haven't. I have never gotten food poisoning or um, sick from anything. Uh, not that I can remember at least, not within the last, I don't know, maybe 10 years. The only time I've ever really gotten sick is if I drink too much when I'm out somewhere and I come home and, you know, I'm feeling it. And I have a pretty weak stomach. I can't handle a lot of things, so I think that's pretty cool. What did you do before starting Hungry in Whittier? That's a great question. Um, well, for the last six years, I have been a certified caregiver, um, but all my little projects and stuff, so I do wedding and engagement photography on the side. My company is called Love and Exploration. I'm pretty sure that you've seen me post about that as well. Um, and also prior to that, um, I had a clothing company. Um, that I was partners in with um, a couple of my friends. Um, 
called Helen Highwater, and we actually used to have a little shop in Uptown um, where the tattoo shop used to be on Philadelphia. We used to have like the storefront. So if you ever walked in there, like back in 2010 or 11, 12, I don't remember what year it was, you would see like there's tons of clothes. We used to do consignment deals with a bunch of other local clothing companies and stuff. It was really cool. It was a really cool shop. Um, and you know, we had a lot of fun with it, but I had to move on. What is your vision for progress and change in Whittier over the next five years? Um, so, I mean, my main thing is, we. I think we have the best food. So I would say more restaurants, I think, um, but small business owners. So like just raising awareness, bringing people to our city, um, just to allow and to help other small business owners wanna come here and open up and we can just create like a huge, huge, area for you know like small small restaurants small business owners with restaurants small business owners with clothing and boutiques and specialty stores and gift shops really cool things like that I just feel like um, those are the types of things that make our city just so great is that we just capitalize on small businesses like that so I hope I'm helping out with the you know the whole like the movement of that but um, I just hope to see that in the change just more of what's happening already how much has changed in the last five years from the last five years to now, and then if it can just keep going in that direction for the next five years, that would be, that would be incredible, so. If you could be anywhere in the world right now and a specific city of that certain place, where would it be and why? I'm probably just going, I've never been here. I hope me and my husband get to go there one day. So we really, really wanna go to Italy, well, all over, so I can't, pick one specific city but why because of the food it's those crazy fresh cannolis fresh pasta all the bread like all the wine he just scared me he said meatballs i would lose my mind pasta rules everything around us that's it um so i'm reading a couple of questions that are basically saying would you be uh, would you be open to being more critical why don't you critique um and i would just address the reason why I don't do it, um, because I feel like that's not what Hungry and Whittier is about. I like to promote positivity. I don't like when people start to, you know, get all crazy on my feed. I will delete your comments. Like I don't care. I just don't want anybody to be here. I'm not here to be a Yelp. I'm not Yelp. I don't want anybody trash talking any of the restaurants. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to, you know get over there, get, go try this place, telling people, telling locals about, um, and then other locals, other, you know, other city locals about it to get them to come try it. Let them make up their mind, you know. I don't want anybody to put that in their mind that it's not a good place because I love these places. So you're kind of saying also that I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, it's just kind of, it's, it's all over the place, but that's the reason why I don't do it. I'm not critical, I'm not Yelp, and I want people to come to Whittier and I want them to try these restaurants. So that's the main reason why I don't do it. Um, and I probably will never do it. I'm not a food critic. I just, I'm not, I'm not about that life, so. Um, this person said, I grew up on Pierce in Uptown. Where did you grow up? I grew up right here in this house. I live on Norwalk Boulevard. I live right by the Food for Less, so on Norwalk in Washington, and I've lived here my entire life, and my mom grew up here in this house her entire life. Her, um, my grandparents, they came from Armenia, and they bought this house in the, the 40s? The 40s. I think they bought this house in, in the, for, in their, uh, not in their 40s, in the 40s, in 1940 sometime, and Everybody has grown up here like all my aunts like everything my mom has five sisters Everybody's grown up here and left and everything and now it's just us I think my husband and I are actually talking about buying this house so this can be ours too I just think it's really cool because It's just such a familiar thing and I feel like I'm just so fortunate to never have had to move and there's just so much um so much it's everything's just so sentimental like to me here like everything's just so nostalgic like I'll be like oh I remember when I fell there and scraped my knee or oh that spot outside on like the ground there's like things like everywhere there's just stories and so much character so yeah I, I really love it and I feel like I never want to leave well I'm never gonna leave Whittier but I really never want to leave this house I I hope I can stay here and pass it down from generations so did you envision your life to be where it is right now if yes are you happy with it if not where were you supposed to be that's such a cool and deep question. Oh my god. I gotta dig a little bit for that one. So yes and no. So did I envision my life to be where it is right now? No, I didn't really because I 
didn't really think I would ever get into like the food business where I would be like a food blogger, but yes in the sense where I always envisioned to be my own boss. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to just be able to boss myself around and tell myself, get over there and do this and do that and hustle. Do what you have to do to make it work basically. So um, so yes and no in that, in that um, aspect. But yes, I am happy with it. I love doing what I do. What are you most passionate about and what drives you? Are you a people person? Do you ever head out to see any of the local bands play in the area? Okay, so let's go, what am I most passionate about? Very, very passionate about photography. Um, am I a people person? Yes, I talk to everybody. My husband, when we when we first met, he was so shy, and now he talks to everybody. He would kind of like get freaked out, like if I would be in line at Food for Less and um, I'd make conversation with somebody in front of me, he would just kind of like zone out and why are you doing that what are you what are you doing like who are you talking what are you, do you know them no okay why are you so it's like i don't know it's like i just talk to everybody i'm just so like i just love talking to people i love people so yeah if you ever want to talk to me i can talk your ear off probably <laughs> Do you ever head out to see the local bands play in the area? Honestly, I haven't in a really long time. When I was growing up here, you know, the scene was very popular when I was like in high school and stuff. So um, I used to go to, you know, the Red Cross like every weekend. Some one of my friend's bands were playing. I was friends with all the guys in the bands. So um, I would go to Red Cross or the Green Turtle or when Amber when it was Ambrose Pizza where Colonia Publica is now. Um, you know, they used to have acoustic shows up there and. Um, Studio Danza and literally all the, all the places in Uptown that would have shows like I was there every weekend it's kind of weirdly how I met my husband there are any local shows now someone tell me about it please because I would love to come check out some of the local bands and just kind of like buy some merch and help them out because I know how much it helps out uh, when when you order a meal and post it on Instagram do you consume the whole meal Yes, I do. I Well, unless I can't finish it, but that's usually the only thing I get. Whatever I'm taking a picture of is the only thing I ordered. I'm not some baller where I get to order like everything off the menu. How do you enjoy all this wonderful food and stay so skinny? And if you grew up in Whittier, what schools did you attend? Um, I did grow up in Whittier. So I went to, you can start all the way from the beginning if you want. I went to Hadley Preschool, went to Palmview Christian, and then I went over to um, Daniel Phelan, and then I went to Edwards. I went to Pioneer after I got my high school diploma at Sierra. So that's my school story. Okay, and last but not least, how much fun is your anniversary party going to be? Woo, woo, woo. Okay, get a little excited. I mean, I've already talked a little bit about it um, in a uh, like on my Instagram and things like that. We're going to have, you know, a lot of food. JK Donuts is donating all the donuts for the event, and I think that's amazing. I think that's incredible. A uh, very special and local brewery is gonna be there, so you'll be able to taste their beer. I have a DJ, a photo booth, like I'm gonna have like door prize giveaways, like things like that. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be fun. It's basically just, like I said again, another reason to come together and eat food and drink beer. Someone named George told me that it's gonna be his birthday that night, so that's gonna be really fun. We can all sing him happy birthday and embarrass him and then give him a donut and call it a night. It'll be a great time. I'm going to close out this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for asking me all these really cool and in-depth questions. I'm very impressed and um, kind of got my brain moving a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm going to close it out here and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.